Alright everyone, welcome back to this let's play of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. As we all may remember or may have just seen last time, our survivor Sean Duncan decided it was a good idea to set off a nuke because he no longer had his machete which was stuck inside the zombie he was trying to kill and he thought that setting the timer to one actually meant one minute and not one second so we got instantly vaporized after setting that timer and like I mentioned last time uh, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead uh, the world you create is actually persistent so uh, if, if we create a new character now and we'll be moving to the town to our west or northwest I think we went with Duncan uh, we should be able to see the aftermath of the of the nuclear explosion there <laughs> but you know we'll see we'll be creating a new random character for this uh, for this episode hopefully this character will last longer than one episode but we'll see all right uh, Hank Lecran. Sure, sure. This guy is actually very strong. 11 strength, 8 dexterity, not very intelligent. Yeah. Doesn't, that, doesn't matter that much. Oh, he's a psychopath. Disorganized Shaolin adept. So he'll be pretty good with his hands, I think. And he's a psychopath, so he can kill children, uh, zombie kids, without any remorse. All right. Pick your style. Mm. I don't know. Tiger, leopard, snake, dragon. Oh, let's just pick the crane. One of the five Shaolin animal styles. The crane uses intricate hand s techniques and jumping dodges. Dexterity determines the majority of your damage rather than strength. You also receive dodge bonus turn after your movement. I don't think our dexterity was that high, so... Ah! One of the five Shaolin animal styles. The tiger focuses on relentless attacks above all else. Your strength determines your accuracy. Your attacks do increasing damage as you continue attacking. Okay, let's pick this one. And here we are in the shelter once again. The shelter isn't destroyed by the uh, explosion, so the nuclear explosion wasn't a full-size nuke. Thank God. Anyway, from the last round we know that these uh, were, were the, these lockers are completely empty, so we'll just be going outside immediately. Oh, we're in a completely different fallout shelter. Okay or evac shelter, doesn't really matter how you call it. Um, let's see. Then maybe there is something in these lockers, but there might never be anything in these lockers. Nope. All right. Now, I think the first thing we'll do is move north, because I think this is the shelter we were in last time. So I think if we move north, we'll be able to see the damage we've caused last time with our little nuke. So let's keep moving. Well, as you can see on the right now, it's uh, also our fighting style displays on the right side. Fists, Tiger, Kun. Alright. Interesting. Yep, we have to move a little further north. And further north, further north. Ah, there we go. I think this is the evac center we were in last time. Not quite sure. Huh. What's that then? That's a rattlesnake or a deer or a weasel. Oh, what did I press this time? No. Hmm. 
don't think this is the same evac center we were at last episode. I don't think so. A shrieker zombie to our northwest. Well, let's try and avoid that one, shall we? Sad for the west. Let's try not to get to get attacked by anything. Oh, look at this. We have arrived at a town. Okay, there's a zombie to our northeast this time. No worry. A zombie cop. Yeah. Let's try and avoid that here. Oh, God. There's a lot of zombies here. Oh, dear. And the zombie cop has spotted us. Let's look at his stats. Ah, uh, dear. The cop is wearing riot gear. Dick Lord. And there's another. Another zombie behind him. Holy crap. That zombie's fast. Whoa. There's a bloody Rottweiler here. Oh man. Okay. See if we can kick his ass. Nope. Doing four damage. And we keep getting interrupted. Well. Are we actually damaging him? Lightly injured. No damage. Lightly injured. Oh dear. <sighs> oh, we have a hockey stick. Well, let's wield that and bash the fucking. See? We do a lot more damage with the fucking hockey stick. It's not hitting us back though. Three damage, three damage, eight damage. Oh, it's quite injured now. 10 damage. 12 damage. Ouch. It's hitting my torso. Was heavily injured. 10 damage. More damage. Oh dear. Severely injured. Uh, keeps hitting my torso. Uh, it's nearly dead. Come on, zombie. Die. Why am I doing one damage all of a sudden? <sighs> Thank God. Well, let's see. Uh, got steel coat. Uh, jacket. Ripped, 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 ripped. Damn it. Well, there's not gonna. Why is that one yellow? Oh, it's the. Because he's probably some kind of special zombie or something. We see a zombie, yet it doesn't display it in which direction we see the zombie. Oh, they're right in front of us here. Where did these zombies come from? Oh well. Let's, uh, oh. Dodge the zombie. I whack the zombie for 12 damage. I whack it for 8. No, whack it for 10. Whack it for 12. 
Heavily injured. Boom. 24. Critical hit. Severely injured. Boom. And the zombie dies. Yes. Yes. He doesn't have a lot of interesting stuff. Now I think here on the right, uh, you can see that our torso isn't five upright bars anymore. I think that means that we are slightly injured. Yeah, we have a little pain. Uh, our intelligence has gone down. Probably because of the pain. Oh, we actually have Okay, we can use submachine guns, and we have two electronics. That is very interesting. Uh, can carry 40% less volume, yeah, that's not good. You do not experience guilt like others do. Even when you know your actions are wrong, you just don't care. Good. Yep, uh, shower it. Yes, pain, intelligence in one, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now in the zombie to the northwest. Well, you made short work of all the other zombies, so. There's a rattlesnake to our northeast. Oh dear, and there's a zombie soldier to our west. That is not good. Let's do Oh lord. Grab our zombies. There's a lot of zombies here. A lot of zombies. Let's clean this broken window. Yes, come on. Clean, clean the window. Yes. Also spotted. Get inside. Damn it. Cannot close the window. Let's see what's in this cupboard. A sundress. Yes, not particularly use useful. A lot more oh, a lot more zombies here. See, there's a bottle of fruit juice, a mushroom, frying pan. We're definitely gonna need that frying pan. Let's pick that up before we forget. Oh god, I can't carry anything. Cannot carry anything. That sucks. We need clothes first. And there's a skeleton in the house. And that more than likely has seen us. Alright, let's close the goddamn door behind us. Hope the skeleton will ignore us. Oh dear lord, yes. It's going to be a lot of zombies there. And there was a zombie soldier there, yes. A decayed zombie. What? A decayed zombie. There's a lot of zombies to our west, so let's have a look. Oh, they're all having a party here. A zombie soldier. Normal zombie. Another normal zombie. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's move south. Ooh. Northwest. Well, that's probably... 
<laughs> that skeleton or something. Beetle's head like is destroyed. Beetle's wheel. Oh, it's a car, of course. <laughs> Ooh, northwest, lot of zombies, yes. Let's move in this direction. Fat zombie and the Rottweiler. What is what is this thing? It's a fat zombie. <sighs> All right. Let's try and kick his ass. Oh dear! Bites my left leg. That's not good. Well, I'm not doing a lot of damage on that fat zombie. Oh dear. Well, it's probably got a lot of natural armor. Uh, we seem to be dodging it quite well. Good. Dodge, dodge. Damn it. Well, the fat zombie's dead. But as you can see, our torso got damaged, and both our legs are a bit damaged now. Oh dear. Contact lenses, yeah. Torn bra. <laughs> the fat zombie was wearing a bra. That's nice. Oh dear. Zombie tour. Or northwest. Northeast, yes. Let's kick this zombie's ass. Yes, 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 safe mode. Turn it off. Oh dear. It's bitten. Oh, my armor protected me. Good. 10 damage, 18 damage, 14 damage, 19 damage, 16. Oop, sorry. <laughs> Caffeinated chewing gum. Well, it's good for staying awake, but not for anything else, I think. Torn shorts, red polo, cash card. What? Maximum to turn set. What? I know idea what this is, but I'm I'll take it with me. Oh, there are more zombies here. Oh, there's also a skeleton to our north. Dear, somebody bites my torso. My torso is not enjoying this. Whack. Boom, 30 damage. Nice. A screwdriver, yes, but what? Torn boy. I just realized that we need to change what pants we're wearing. Because we're not. We can't actually carry anything. It should have full storage, but... <sighs> Our storage volume is reduced by 40%. Mm. Still wouldn't make one, but whatever. Let's grab pants. Shredded heels. Yeah, don't think so. Alright, I think we'll be going inside somewhere. That's a window, yes. I'd like to smash it. Good, yes, thank you. Now let's clean up the window to our north and. I think there are a lot of zombies inside. Anyway. Beauty magazine, fancy novel, romance novel, how to succeed in business. Well, that's not going to be very relevant anymore in the zombie apocalypse, but, you know, whatever floats your boat. Computer Science 101. Glass shot. Sheet. Heavy stick. Long string. No. 
I actually need clothing more than anything. That's a table. Okay. Some glasses here. A flare. Aluminum can. Glow stick. Sport jersey. I think I already have that one. Aluminum can. Soda. Uh, let's check the dresser. It's empty. Of course it is. We seriously need some storage space, or we're pretty much screwed. Oh dear. And that will be a zombie child. Yes, but since we're a psychopath, <laughs> we'll be killing this child and bashing it in the head with our hockey stick. Whack the zombie child, 7 damage, 17 damage, and the zombie child dies. Good. Let's see. How can I... Is my character so flimsy that it can wear an undershirt from a zombie child? Ah, the child was carrying candy. Poor thing. Cargo shorts. I don't think we can ca we can wear that, but is it? Oh, there's a cargo shorts. Uh, Let's just put out. Put on. Yes. Let's put it on. Ah. Ah, eight storage. Very good. And we have six volume. Is there anything else that has no. Alright. No. I'll keep pressing the wrong buttons. Alright. That's the button I'm looking for. Light gloves. Hmm. Boots. Winter gloves. Classic bag of candy. A zombie child corpse. Tattered sweater, torn socks, torn boxer shirt, ripped undershirt, glass bottle of maple syrup, which is in the other room. And uh, I think monster spotted, yes. A Rottweiler. Well, okay. That's a bookcase, okay. Moving on. We can now pick up all these food items. What's drink actually? Oh dear, I think something is actually in the house right now. I think all those. Yep. Damn it. Is that a regular zombie? Yeah. Well. Let's kick his ass. Oh dear. Oh dear. Now we need a first aid kit. We have a big bite wound on our chest and it feels very deep. It's not good. From the northeast you can hear glass breaking. Well, that's not good. Leather pants, sport jersey, tattered socks, cut purse. I think we'll take that. You struggle to carry such a large volume, yes. But it's clothing, so we'll be wearing it. Put on your cut purse. Yes! 18 volume! Nice! Spray can. No. And it didn't have anything else. Okay, anything else in this room? Glow stick. Well, that might be useful, actually. Ah. Bugger it. Um. No, no, no. Flare, yes. 
we'll be taking that as well. And cell phone. Mm, it's not going to be very useful in the zombie apocalypse. Since I don't think we'll have any network coverage. Oh dear. It's a zombie. Where's a zombie? Oh. I think it's in the room here. Ah, oh, there it is. Hello, zombie. Bite your left arm. This is not a deep bite. Oh dear, where's the Rottweiler? I hope it's not in the house. Oh god. No. This fucking Rottweiler. Now I'm having to fight a Rottweiler. <laughs> Acrid smell accompanies this corpse. Okay. It's all bodies covered in chain and pulsing. Chains of pulsing cysts. Oh dear. But it's not just a Rottweiler, it's a fucking zombie Rottweiler. Can we please, please kill the fucking zombie? Oh dear. Kill the zombie! The zombie dies. Well, we're gonna have to fight this Rottweiler. Heavily injured, good. Severely injured. And it's dead. Fucking dog. Ah, dear lord. Well, we're basically wounded on every part of our body, except for our head. And our torso is wounded as well. Yes, we have a bite mark on our torso. We need to get that treated, or it will possibly infect. And as we all know, infections can kill you. Crack flip flops. No, I'll not be using flip flops during the zombie apocalypse. And oh, there's one zombie north. One zombie does. Oh, damn it, there's a zombie fucking soldier. Oh no, grab your zombie. Have they seen me? least that zombie did. That's a normal zombie, right? Yep. Good, good. That normal zombie isn't a big threat. Oh, no, not a fat zombie. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. And a tough zombie. I don't like tough zombies. if they followed us, but, you know, we'll see. A soldering iron. I'm told these things are important. Lime soda. House coat. A house coat, yes. Interesting. Uh, yep, we'll be picking up the soldering iron. soldering iron. A leather jacket, eh? Hmm. Are we wearing any jacket? No, I don't 
think so. Just a sports jersey. Let's uh, pick that up. Put it on. Yes. Alright, now we have 20 volume. Look here, let's close the door behind us. Scissors, plastic bag of tea leaves, cardboard box of cereal, plastic bag of potato chips. Let's pick that up. Hmm, not sure what that is. Potato chips, yes sir. What is this? Tea leaves. Yeah, sure. Why not? Dust mask, spray can. Nope. Frying pan. Very useful. Grape drink. Good. And beer. Nice. Now let's see what we are. What we have. Uh, cash card. Glow stick flare. Nice. And now we would like a backpack somewhere. Well, let's have a drink as well. You drink your water. I'm hungry as well. Alright, let's see. Uh, we have some potato chips. Let's eat the potato chips, yes. Now let's check our mini map to see if there's anything useful close to us. Seems to be a hardware store here. All right. Let's try and get to the hardware store. Many zombies. Oh dear. What is a zombie soldier? Zombie soldier is north. I think we'll uh, go through the other way. Oh dear, it's a tough zombie. Right outside here. See, we've been spotted. Decayed zombie. Ooh, that's a zombie soldier. Oh dear. Two damage. That's not a lot of damage. <laughs> I do no damage. Oh dear. Bites my head. Well, oh, it's the first time I've been bitten in my head. And there's something else there as well. It's a decayed zombie. Well, I think we need to make a run for it. I think 
we're in trouble here. Grab our zombie. Zombie soldier. A decayed zombie. And a regular zombie. skeleton right there. Oh, we're in deep trouble here. We're in deep trouble now. We're in deep trouble. We cannot outrun any of them. Well, let's see if we can get some sort of boost. Let's get this... Uh, few things. Mm, what can we drop? I think the soldering iron is pretty big. Let's drop that one. Oh, damn. Fine, we'll drop the frying pan. bit in my head. There we go, now I think we can run a bit faster. Yes we can. Oh dear. Let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully <laughs> they'll give up at some point. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they'll give up. You know. Oh dear. The zombie soldier and the skeleton are still behind us. Zombie soldier is falling behind. Alright. Perhaps we can just... Uh, well, the skeleton died very quickly. Oh dear. We need to... Uh, the sun's glare makes it hard to see. We don't have any sunglasses. No, well, we don't. Aluminum can. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's the aluminum can. Yeah, let's let's drop the aluminum can. I have no idea where we're going. That's going to be far away from there. Your hat wound really hurts. Oh dear. We could really use a first aid kit. But then of course we would need to find the first aid kit first. Our pain is eight. We are hungry. We are warm. painful bite in our torso, we've got a nasty bite wound in our head, and we've got a nasty bite wound in our right leg. Well, at least our torso is warm, and our arms are warm. But we do suffer from glare and pain. Well, I think we'll uh, call the episode here, and We'll try. We'll find out next time what's uh, what. Hank Lacram, a male hockey player, is going to experience in our next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.